In this video, we'll talk about Taylor polynomials in slightly different light, and this is as the extension of the idea of linear approximation. So, if we have a function f and a point a where it's differentiable at least, what is the first order Taylor polynomial centered at a? Well, based on the definition from last time, p1 of x should just be f at the point a plus f prime at a times x minus a. Well, this is something we've seen before. This is the tangent line or linear approximation to my function. Both of these things had the same formula and they both came from the same idea of the sort of best approximating line to my function near this point. The question you might ask beyond that is, what if I wanna go beyond linear approximation? What if I find the best fit quadratic to my function? What about best fit fourth order polynomial, best fit 10th order polynomial? How could I go about doing that? And the idea is that comes from Taylor polynomials of higher order. Our T1 was the linear approximation of the best fit line, and it turns out that you can show that Tn for any n is the best fit nth degree polynomial to my function at that point. And by best fit, I mean the following. The nth order Taylor polynomial is the only nth degree polynomial that matches f all of its first n derivatives at that point a. The idea of this basically comes again from the work we did for Taylor series, Right, we saw that for the Taylor series stuff, setting a k equal to kth derivative at the center point over k factorial, let me define the terms of my series. But that also means going backwards, if I have a polynomial whose coefficients are exactly this, then all of its derivatives will exactly match that of f at that point. Right, so if my term involves the term f triple prime at zero over three factorial x cubed, when I take three derivatives, this will reduce to just f triple prime at zero, which when I plug in zero, then gives me exactly the value that I want for this function. This will work for all the different derivatives and all the different Taylor polynomials. That's how they're defined, and that's why they're defined this way. And since it matches the function and its first derivatives, it's the best fit we can get to this curve. You can't pick different constants to be better than the ones that you'll get from the Taylor polynomial. That's again the point of using this to approximate a function. It's the best you can do with an n degree polynomial. So as an example, let's find the best fit cubic polynomial to the function f of x equals e to the 2x around the point x equals 1. Now, here we don't have our tricks from before. Why not? Because we're centered at 1, not at 0. So I can't use my known series for e to the x to make this happen, is then we have to do it by hand. And the by hand part is I know what the formula should look like, I just have to plug it in and see what happens. So I know that t3 of x, we're centered at one, should be f of one plus f prime of one times x minus one plus f double prime at one over two factorial times x minus one squared plus f triple prime at one over three factorial times x minus one cubed. That is my Taylor series centered at one that I've chopped up after degree three terms, or it's just now the extension of linear approximation to this idea. Now I need f of one, f prime of one, double prime, triple prime, all of one, to get what goes into this function. f of x is e to the two x, so f of one is e squared. f prime of x is two e to the two x, f prime at one is now two e squared, and more derivatives are gonna bring down more factors of two. The second derivative is four e to the two x, so plugging in one, I get four e squared, and then the third derivative is eight e to the two x, plugging in one gives me eight e squared, and with this I can now write my polynomial. So my polynomial should be e squared plus two e squared times x minus one, plus four e squared over two times x minus one squared plus eight e squared over six, because that's three factorial, x minus one cubed. And if you want, you can cancel these to make this a two and this to make this a four thirds, but that's the best you can get for your answer. And that there is then your third order Taylor polynomial, which by the way, we've defined Taylor polynomials. These are, this is the best fit cubic polynomial to this function near the point one. That's the idea of using Taylor polynomials to extend the idea of linear approximation to higher degree terms. If you want 
the best fit line, you have linear approximation. But that's also the first order Taylor polynomial. If you want any higher order polynomial than that to best fit your curve, this is where Taylor polynomials come in to let you do this and let you figure out what is the best fit quadratic or quintic to my curve in case I want to approximate by this when I'm trying to plug this into a computer or to get a better approximation to a number for this function if the function itself is really hard to calculate.